Hello and welcome to Useful. My name is Karen Natalianz. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how to build a multi-page tour in Useful. And by multi-page, I mean uh, a tour that starts on some page, then guides your user to a different page, explains some things there, uh, and then goes to a different page and so on and so forth. Um, I have seen some of our clients build uh, tours that go across five to seven pages and more. Um, for example, such as uh, integration software, when users are connecting to applications and setting up automated communications between the two, and then you are, uh, as a user, there you select the source application, the target application, their respective settings for each of them, and then uh, mapping the fields to each other. And, um, and all of this happens on different pages. And there is a tour which guides a user to that entire process. Um, in this video, I will show you only one transition from one page to a different page, and then we will see how exactly that can be built um, in the tour editor. So let's go to our demo page. And here I'm going to start this tour and um, I'm going to click next. And now this is a very key moment here. This pointer is highlighting this user section. I'm going to click and as you can see, I'm taken to a different page. And now here the tour continues. Uh, you can see we are on a different page and this is the same tour still prompting me to uh, go through this process of adding a user in this case. Um, so how do we build an experience like this? For that, I'm going to build a very simple basic tour here. Now we have this welcome and then we have this pointer. So this pointer is going to be pointer on page one and it's pointing to some uh, example element here and then there is a different pointer which is on page two and it's pointing to another element on page two and so these two pointers are on two different pages and the element of the second pointer doesn't exist on the first page and so if we publish the tour like this the tour will stop on pointer number one. When I click next, nothing is going to happen because this pointer will be looking for its element and we don't have a way right now to tell this tour that the pointer number two uh, must be looking for its element on a different page. And so how do we do that? For that, we're going to add a redirect step. So this redirect um, is essentially a way to tell the tour that when your user clicks next on the pointer number one, they will be automatically taken to that other page and the tour will continue from pointer number two. As you may have noticed here, um, we had, we didn't have the previous and next buttons. For that, we can sw simply switch progress on click off button to click off element. So this setting will, will make sure that people actually click that button to be taken to that other page. Another thing that you may want to do is adding a delay between that second pointer and after the redirect, because sometimes mm, elements on that next page um, take some time to load, right? So yeah, I think that's it. This is how to build uh, a multi-page tour in, in, the, in Useful. And um, thank you so much for watching and uh, good luck building tours that take your users across uh, different pages and explain complicated processes. Thanks, bye bye.